Hello students, welcome to this channel. In this channel, we are going to provide with notes for all subjects of ICSE class 6. So in order to make your studies very easier, we have started this channel. In this channel, we will keep on uploading notes for all the subjects. At first, we have started with class 6. Today we are going to learn the first chapter in Geography, class 6, Representation of Geographical Features. So, the first six questions are kind of introduction to this lesson. Now let us learn it. A book of maps is called an atlas. The signs and symbols used on a map are explained in the legend. The dash maps show landforms physical. On a map the arrow that shows direction always points to the dash north. In a map though four directions are marked in only one direction an arrowhead is made that is the northern direction. Fifth one is a dash draws maps and charts. The person who draws maps and charts is known as cartographer. The different shades of dash is used to show water bodies on a map. The blue shades. Okay. The introductory part gets over. Now let us move on to the first question. Why do we need a globe to study the earth? We cannot see the entire earth at the same time because of its huge size and spherical shape. The earth is very huge in size at the same time it is spherical in shape so being on one side of the spherical globe we cannot see the other part of the earth so we need a globe to study the earth this is the reason we use globe to study the earth second question what is a globe a globe is a simple and accurate way to represent the earth. To represent the earth, we have devised the tool that is nothing but the globe. So it is a simple and accurate way to represent the earth. Third question is, what are the limitations of a globe? There are more limitations are there. Here they have given only four. First one is it is difficult to carry. Second one is the space on the globe is limited. So the details of geographical features cannot be showed on it. The space around the globe, the model of the earth, the globe is very limited. So all the details of geographical features like mountains, rivers, deserts, all cannot be shown on it. Third one is a globe cannot be made for a part of the earth. Globe represents the whole earth. We cannot make a globe for a part of the earth. That means half of the earth or quarter of the earth like that. Fourth one is, the fourth limitation is, it is difficult to make a large size globe and use it. So we cannot make a large size globe and use it. These are the limitations of a globe. Fourth question is, why is a book of maps called an atlas? Book of maps is called an atlas. Why? The first book of maps had atlas, a mythological figure on its cover. When the first book of maps was made on its outer cover, they had given 
द फिगर ऑफ एटलस या मिथालॉजिकल फिगर ऑन इट्स कवर सिंस देन या बुक ऑफ मैथ्स इज कॉल्ड एन एटलस दे स्टार्टेड कॉलिंग इट एस एटलस एज इट है द फिगर ऑफ एन एटलस वॉट इज द मैप A map is a representation of the earth as a whole or part of it. Listen, in the case of a globe, a globe can represent only the whole earth, not a part of it. Unlike a globe, a map can even represent a part of it. That's why it is given. A map is representation of the earth as a whole or a part of it. Drawn to a scale on a flat surface. Next one is, what does a map include, or what and all details we can get it from a map. A map includes a title, scale, direction, grid, conventional signs and symbols. Next question. What is meant by a map distance? So, our real earth distance is different from a map distance. What is meant by map distance? The distance between any two places on a map measured along a straight line is called the map distance. So, on a map, if we measure the distance in between two places for example in a tamil nadu map if we measure the distance in between madurai and chennai in a map then that distance is known as map distance next question eighth one what is meant by ground distance the distance between any two places on the ground measured along a straight line is called the ground distance next question what is meant by the scale of a map the ratio between the map distance and the ground distance is called the scale of the map so we have already learned that map distance and the ground distance if we calculate the ratio between the map distance and the ground distance then it is called as the scale of the map the next question is in what ways the scale on a map can be shown or what are the ways by which the scale on a map can be shown first one is by a statement it can be shown second one is by a numerical fraction third one is by a graph or linear scale now let us learn in detail about these three methods the statement method the numerical fraction method and the linear scale or graph method next question 11th one is explain statement method in the statement method the scale is stated as 1 cm is to 2 km what does it mean each and every cm on a map is equivalent to 2 km on the ground in other words every 1 cm of the map distance is equal to 2 km of the ground distance here 1 cm is the map distance and 2 km is the ground distance for example if the map distance is 10 cm then what about the ground distance 2 into 10 20 km then 12th question explain numerical fraction method it is also referred to as the representative fraction shortly saying rf in this method 
the ratio between the map distance and the ground distance is given as a fraction. So in the numerical fraction method, the ratio between the map distance and the ground distance is given as a fraction. That's why it is called as numerical fraction method. RF, that is representative fraction is equal to map distance by ground distance. Then comes the 13th question. Explain graphic or linear scale. In this method, the map distance is shown with the help of a straight line. The line is divided into parts known as primary divisions. Primary division is further divided into smaller parts known as secondary divisions. Now, 14th question is in the form of a quiz. Number 1. A dash is a human made model of the earth. Answer is globe. Second one. The dash system of measurement is followed in India. Answer metric. Third one. What is the scale of the map? The ratio between the map distance and the ground distance is called the scale of the map. Let us learn once again. First question. A dash is a human made model of the earth. Answer globe. Second one. The dash system of measurement is followed in India. The answer is metric, metric system. Third one is what is the scale of the map? The ratio between the map distance and the ground distance is called the scale of the map. Fourth one, in the statement, one centimeter is two hundred kilometer, what does one centimeter refer to? Here this one centimeter refers to map distance. Fifth question. The linear scale is also known as numerical fraction. True or false? It is false. Because the other name of linear scale is not numerical fraction but the graphic scale. Fifteenth one. Two types of maps. One is small scale maps. The another one is large scale maps. With this let us find out this class. So, the rest of the questions or the notes come in the second part of this video. Don't fail to listen. Don't fail to watch. Don't fail to subscribe. Share it with your friends. And press the bell icon so that our uploaded videos will keep on coming to you. You can get benefited. We will meet you. This next Comment and subscribe our channel and click the bell button for more videos. Thank you.